Hello crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica, and I'm going to show you what I ended up getting from Amazon from the Prime Day deals. Now, not everything here is a Prime Day deal, but this is things that I bought on that day. And I also, if you saw the video where I showed you what was in my cart, I did intend to get everything that was in my cart, but I realized my daughter's birthday is coming up in September and I ended up getting her a bunch of things. So I did put a few things back, but let's just go ahead and get started. So I don't know why I had never bought these tickets on Amazon. These were really inexpensive, even the normal price. And I mean, you get so many. Now I know a regular person might not go through this many, but for me, I send, you know, 85 people mail every month. I make a ton of journals and I do lots of projects. So I'm excited. These look vintage to me. I just love them and I'm really excited to have a whole roll of them. Of course, I love having actual vintage items for my projects when I can, but I'm just not opposed to using something like this. Okay, we're just gonna pick and grab because there's so many fun things. <gasps> this is fun. This is a journal closure. I don't know why that was in there, but I just recently made that fun little slide thanks to Lace Covered Skies. Anyways, we're getting off board. Okay, so yes, this is a, well, this is what I'm going to use for a journal closure. I don't know what the actual, in, I don't know what it's really intended for, but this is so cute. Now it is a bit heavy and it's definitely bulky, but it's so pretty. Now you only got this one and I think it was $8, but I fell in love. So I'm really excited to use this on some special journal that will be coming soon. I don't know which one it's going to go on, but if you didn't know, I'm working on a journal release, which is why there are all of these tassels that you see because there's a bunch of journals over there. Anyways, when I was looking for these metal closures, I ended up finding this one too, and I'll try to put it together here. This one came with, I think, 10. So this was actually a really good bargain and I'm trying to show you how it will go together. So this one, yeah, so I think I got like 10 of these or something like that. I'll have links for everything below. Okay, so it here it is. So you know, one of these pieces will go on one side of the journal and one will go on the other. And then this has like a little lock. It's kind of hard to show you when it's just in my hand, but. This one was also really pretty, so I'm excited to have that. I needed a kind of faux stamp, stamp stamp set for a project that I've been wanting to do. I don't know when I'll get to do it, but this was really inexpensive and it has everything that I need. I did see this one on AliExpress also for a couple dollars cheaper, but I kind of just trust buying from Amazon a little bit better. I don't know. Okay, I needed more book corners, metal book corners that is. Um, I have bought this one quite a few times, but it was on a sale on that day and I needed more. So if you can see here, they're just brass colored book, metal book cor corners. Good quality. I'm honestly, I'm so glad I love Tim Holtz and I will never compare Tim Holtz to these generic items. However, I, when I need to buy a lot of something, I do like getting the generic version because they're still good quality. But as you can see right here, this is Tim Holtz. I needed some good quality brads for a couple of projects. And so I did actually get these on Amazon because it came quick. And um, I know that I can trust the brand. That is what I really like about Tim Holtz. So got those. Okay, I needed some more pressed flowers. And if you didn't know, uh, Amazon has pressed flowers. This has like four of these cards that you see here. So you can see two. And there's two more in here. It comes with some little tweezers, which I thought was kind of cute because it does make picking these up a lot easier but the quality is just on point and I wanted these for some projects that I'll be doing and I love pressing my own flowers however I just can't keep up and press enough so these are really handy and I have been so impressed with the pressed flowers and leaves from Amazon okay so what else do we want to look at okay I got these 
um, postcards here and I got another set of these that was a different slightly different style oh I guess you can see here um, last month for my patrons and they were gorgeous very much impressed you might be able to buy these on other sites other than Amazon I actually haven't looked but I get them from Amazon because these were a good deal that day I think I'm pretty sure they were maybe not but these are just gorgeous. I love that they are a matte finish. They're really high quality um, paper, like cardstock, and they're just gorgeous to send in my monthly mail. And I don't actually even write on these because they're just too perfect. So I hope my patrons get to use them in a fun project. And I even keep these for my own journals and will use them um, in my own way. Okay, a lot of the leftover stuff I have here is packaging, but I'll still show you. I got a new pack of these CD cases. I recently um, decorated these for the journal release that I'm doing, and they're so fun for um, going in journals because you can put something in the window and they already have the flip done for you. And it's just kind of a convenient thing to have on hand if you like to make a lot of journals like I do. I needed some really small doilies and I know you can go to the Dollar Tree and things, but I just got the pack here. Okay, I've never bought these before. Um, these are just some little envelopes, but they said printable and self-sealing seed envelope. So, I mean, I don't really know what makes these printable versus anything else. I, I think you can put anything in your printer and print on it. You might have to, you know, attach it to a paper, but it doesn't matter. I, I liked the craft color, and they're actually really light craft color, if you can tell on camera. And they're pretty lightweight, which I kind of like in an envelope kind of thing for journals. And you got a good amount of them, so I'm really glad that I picked these up. Um, oh yeah, I got this embossing folder. I've actually already used it. I can show you a project I used it on. It's uh, one of the decorations for the junk journal collection. Now you really can't see it under the fabric here. I wish I could pull that up, maybe I can, because it is such, let's get that to focus. It is such a pretty embossing folder and it was like $5. So you might be able to see a little bit better on here even though it's not inked up. It's just kind of like a scrolly type um, design. But anyways, yeah, got that on Amazon. It is a Spellbinders brand. Actually, you can see the design even better on, hey, the packaging. I hope it's glaring. Hope you can see that. Yeah, so I'm really excited to add that into my collection of embossing folders. I don't really like to die cut, but I really do like to emboss. Okay, I got, I just about stabbed my foot off with my scissors, so let me grab that. <laughs> and I'm not editing anything in this video because I don't have time. I'm, I'm getting to be real busy, guys, but that's okay. Busy for me is good. Okay, I got these coin envelopes, but they have a window, and I've been wanting these ones for so long. I don't know what it is about windows. I just love them. There's 50, which I'm excited about, but in my head it's not enough. Because <laughs> I will go through these pretty quick, pretty quick. But it'll be so pretty to put like a tag that has maybe like um, a pressed flower or something like that. I'm curious if my fabric tags would fit in here. It doesn't really look like it because I wish I could show you a little idea. Well, let's just try one of these little collage pieces. This is not what I would put in there, but you get the point. And then if you like collage on here or add a few embellishments, um, these are gonna be really fun and I, they were pretty inexpensive for that amount. Okay, what else guys? I think that, oh, so you guys see me use these all the time in my journals and they are just adhesive clear pockets. I get asked about these all the time and um, I got, I used to buy these from Target in the dollar spot, but they were $3 for 20, which if you do the math, it's not that inexpensive. So I've been buying them on Amazon and this time I got a hundred pack. I don't remember the cost, but I'm going to have it linked below. And these are just so handy to have. 
and put in your journals. I mean, I use these in my personal journal like so much. So I'm really excited to be stocked up on these. I needed new envelopes for this month's Patreon mail. And so I bought the white and gold trim and I've been buying this brand and style of envelope for a few months now. And I am highly impressed with this brand. So a lot of times on Amazon, I'll just buy whatever brand or from whatever seller. But for envelopes now, um, for my Patreon monthly mail, I will only buy this brand. And I mean, it's just really high quality. It also has the double-sided tape here, which sometimes I'll reinforce and add a little bit of packaging tape on the outside anyways, depending on what I'm sending. But these are seriously, like you get 50 of these and I can't, I can't remember the cost because Amazon's changing it up all the time, but this was a prime deal. So I'm really excited. Same brand, I got the craft envelopes, which are also nice to have on hand. I do like to use these in journals sometimes and for Patreon mail. So stocked up for a little bit. I got some cello bags. Um, these are five by seven and I believe I got a hundred here. And these just make packaging up like um, pen pal mail and everything really nice. It just looks super nice and professional. Okay, I think the last thing I'm going to open these up actually is these floral mailers and I actually have not seen I don't know how I haven't seen this uh, design before I like to use these for my Etsy orders I'll probably use these for my journal collection that I'll be selling and sometimes if I have a patreon mail that's larger I will use these along with using some padded uh, bubble wrap in there but these are so pretty I'm really excited about these okay guys that's everything this was honestly a fun haul I hope that you guys liked seeing this even though you saw what was in my Amazon cart but you guys seem to like these videos so I will see you guys in the next video I hope that you have a lovely day I really love and appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me I'll see you later bye